Coppers are trying to close down the Cold Chisel concert at Sandalford uh, later in the year down at Bustleton. What do you make of that? Oh, I think that um, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't agree with that. You know, I think the Cold Chisel concert at Sandalford will be fantastic. I noted some comments in today's paper about. You know, the, the type of crowd that may be attracted. I mean, I'll be there, Paul. I'm assuming you may well be there Absolutely. on my shoulders enjoying the Cold Chisel concert. <laughs> that would be a picture. I want to break out my old uh, black stove pipes, although I might have to go and get a couple of sizes bigger on my desert boots, and, I, and I'm going to be in the front few rows like I was at the ACDC concert. And, you know, I, I think it's a little short-sighted to say that uh, to say that I, the, the crowd might be unruly, therefore you can't have the concert, you know. I would have thought Sandalford's got a really good oh. track record of organising this sort of concert. They have, Paul, and we need to encourage these sorts of events so that people can get out and enjoy themselves. I mean, the, the, the South West at the moment, the tourism industry is struggling. You know, we need to be encouraging people to holiday in Western Australia, to enjoy everything that we've got to offer in Western Australia. What better way to showcase that part of the South West than a great Australian rock band um, in one of our best wineries? I mean, it's a little bit of an odd juxtaposition. I didn't see ever see Jimmy Barnes in the 70s swilling <laughs> With a glass of claret. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it was in a whiskey bottle, but anyway...